Good morning. Today I'm going to present to you the current status of our AHEAD project on online harassment. The title of our project is An Investigation of Online Harassment Among the Young Population in Sri Lanka, Development of a National Strategy to Combat Online Harassment. Our research team comprises of seven members from SLIT, including three research assistants, um, two industry, uh, local industry collaborators, and several foreign collaborators. Before uh, talking about the current status of our project, let me um, talk to you briefly about the research problem that we are investigating um, the, and the objectives of our study and also the research framework. As all of you are aware, um, in the recent times, we have seen an increase in the use of information communication technologies and the internet worldwide. Now, this increase in the use of ICTs has led to an increase in cybercrime and other online, um, um, online misconduct. So online harassment, which is the subject of our project, is one type of online misconduct. It covers a broad range of behavior. Online harassment can either be sexual or non-sexual. And um, it covers different types of behavior, such as cyberbullying, cyberstalking, unauthorized publication of private or sexually explicit videos or images of people, which is often referred to as revenge pornography, then um, making unwelcome um, sexual requests or uh, remarks um, on social media, which is called unwanted sexualization, then, um, uh, then making threats to publish intimate or private images unless the victim um, provides a pays money or do some um, other favor to the, um, the person who makes the threat. Um, which is referred to as cyber sextortion. So all these types of behavior come under the term online harassment. So research indicates that online harassment is increasing worldwide. Um, in, when, when talking about Sri Lanka, again, there is evidence indicating that um, online harassment is happening um, to a large extent in Sri Lanka. We often hear on news, um, on TV or radio, or even in newspapers. We read about instances like these instances about, you know, where um, sex tapes have been leaked or where some people have threatened other, threatened to publish the private photos of others unless money has been paid, money is being paid. Um, so we do hear about these types of online harassment often. However, we don't have any comprehensive studies on this area. Therefore, uh, the true extent, nature, and impact of online harassment in Sri Lanka is unclear. Um, so that is one gap that we are trying to address through our study. And then um, on a cursory glance, we can see that Sri Lanka does not have a strong policy, strategic, and a legal framework to combat online harassment in Sri Lanka. Um, so so uh, that is another area that we are trying to address through our study. So therefore, the primary research objective of our project is developing a national strategy for effectively combating online harassment in Sri Lanka and proposing laws for enforcing the proposed national strategy. So um, we are conducting the research in three phases, although we call these phases, these are happening concurrently. The first phase is the empirical study um, where we, um, we are conducting an island-wide survey to find out about the nature of online harassment, nature, impact, and so forth of online harassment happening among young people in Sri Lanka. Um, phase two is a comparative study. Um, there we are reviewing the laws and policies in Sri Lanka and several other countries, such as the United States, UK, Australia, Singapore, and India, um, to, find, to, to find out um, uh, the adequacy or to evaluate the adequacy of the, these, the laws and policies of these different countries. 
um, in combating online harassment. Um, in phase three, we plan to develop the national strategy by using the findings that of phase one and phase two. So this slide graphically represents um, what we are doing in our project. That we are investigating the extent, nature, and effect of online harassment through our empirical study, and uh, and also we are trying to identify the social, cultural, and economic barriers to preventing online harassment in Sri Lanka. We are assessing the current Sri Lankan law and policies, and we are analyzing and assessing the laws and policies and strategies in other countries. Um, so these um, activities will help us to understand the true nature, extent, and effects of online harassment in Sri Lanka, identify the gaps in Sri Lankan law, and identify the gaps in our policies, and then also to identify best practices in other countries, which we can adopt. So based on these, we will finally develop the national strategy. Um, so coming to the current status of the project, um, in terms of the empirical study, we are currently in, in the process of completing the data collection. Um, so we, uh, the sample is 4,000 young people from uh, government and non-government universities from uh, vocational training centers with their teachers, A-level students of schools, then people, young people in employment, such as three-wheeler drivers, um, employed in uh, uh, garment factories and so forth. So we've already collected a sample of 2000 and the data collection, uh, the, and we hope that we'll be able to complete the data collection within this month or the next, um, by the end. Uh, uh, by the end of next month. Um, this phase actual of the project actually got quite um, delayed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, then coming to the comparative study, we have completed the reviews of, uh, review of the laws and policies of uh, the countries we've identified, and we've published several conference papers and general articles from this area, and we are also we are currently also we are working on a few more articles. Um, in terms of phase three, um, we uh, phase three involves the development of the national policy and strategy. We have identified some key areas for the policy from the research that we've done in phase two, but we cannot fully do the um, strategy yet because we haven't finalized phase one. So uh, for this project, we have promised 25 KPIs. We have achieved 14 of the KPIs, which are KPIs we have promised. Um, and these slides show the list of publications. So we've done several abstracts, conference, uh, published several conference papers, um, several journal articles, a book chapter, and some working papers. Thank you.